so in a previous session we have started with uh, we have discussed uh, what is a processor is and what is uh, what are the components which are present inside a processor like we have seen arithmetic logic unit control unit registers and we have seen the definition of the processor like how a processor and what a processor is doing and after that we have seen a uh, what a processor do like fetch decode it execute, execute and store we have seen that and we have seen the basic intro of an instruction set and uh, wait a minute running one time uh, because it's getting disturbance for us okay so we uh, we were discussing about this uh, type of instructions we have also discussed about this type of instructions in our previous sessions so this was our discussion now in this session uh, we will start with the discussion of assembly to binary conversion like how the assembly language which we are writing uh, the assembly code which we are writing uh, how it is getting uh, converted into binary we will briefly see it and afterwards we will discuss what is isa that is instruction set architecture so what is this instruction set architecture we will see and after that we will see riskv isa that is riskv has its own instruction set architecture what is it we will see and we are we are going to see about key features of uh, uh, riskv and we will see the isa specifications and we have extension extensions for this uh, base isa and register sets instructions formats so all this we will see briefly yeah so coming to the assembly to binary conversion so generally uh, when we i i hope uh, you you guys are familiar with uh, uh, assembly language programming right so for example 8086 or 8085 for, uh, for that we will write assembly language uh, programming right so for example mov uh, a comma b or a comma r1 like that we will write so this is assembly language uh, assembly level uh, programming right so the source code uh, which is written in the assembly language program uses a text editor so the source code consists of a series of instructions that the processor can execute so the assembly language programmer uh, will write the uh, programming such that uh, he will uh, write a sequence of instructions uh, in the assembly language so what that assembly language is uh, done so that assembly language is converted into binary language that is zeros and ones using the assembler okay so using the assembler we are going to convert this assembly language into a binary code okay so using an assembler to convert the assembly language into machine code or binary so the assembler reads the source code and translate each instruction into the uh, corresponding binary format so the code like mov uh, a comma b so this is assembly level language so the assembler what it will do it will convert each instruction like a movie to a set of binary sequence numbers and a is a register right so it will convert each and everything into a binary language so that uh, it will be converted into a binary and the machine can understand okay so this is how the conversion will take place and the converted binary number or the sequence for example the converted binary sequence 0011 Zero one one zero. This binary number we are going to uh, have, and we are going to uh, perform the uh, operations of the processor, like uh, whether to add a number or whether to subtract a number or whether to do any shift operation or everything. This will be uh, uh, encoded in this binary sequence only. So we will be having this binary sequence or the instruction in the binary format as our input to our uh, design. Okay. so when we are going to design our processor in the verilog verilog so we will be having this binary sequence as our input so according to the uh, input given to us in the binary format we are going to deal with it okay so we are going to deal with it okay is it clear what we are going to do is it clear for everyone what is isa so isa stands for instruction set architecture so isa stands for instruction set architecture so the collection of instructions that a processor can execute these instructions include 
ऑपरेशन लाइक अर्थमेटिक एडिशन अप्रैक्शन लॉजिक एंड और एंड कंट्रोल फ्लो जम्स ब्रांचेस एंड डेटा मोमेंट्स लोड एंड स्टोर सो बेसिकली दिस आई एस ए विल कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए सेट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन सो विल वी आर गोइंग टू सी द रिस्क वी आई एस ए सो बेसिकली इट विल कंसिस्ट ऑल द इंस्ट्रक्शन विच आर अवेलेबल टू अस सो दैट वी कैन परफॉर्म एंड वी कैन टेल द प्रोसेसर वॉट द प्रोसेसर शुड डू और वॉट द प्रोसेसर शुड परफॉर्म सो बेसिकली दिस आई एस ए विल कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए सेट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर द प्रोसेसर टू एक्सिक्यूट ओके risk v isa that is risk v has its has its own instruction set architecture so first of all risk stands for reduced instruction set computer file uh, the full form i think i hope i hope uh, i have given in the first session only so risk stands for reduced instruction set computer so this is a free and open standard design for a wide range of computing devices for from small embedded systems to law, large supercomputers so basically it is a free and open source standard uh, and it uh, it has a very basic isa very basic instruction set architecture that is its instructions are very easy to understand and they are open source also we can design a small embedded systems to a large supercomputers okay so the key features of risk we are this it is a open standard modular design simplicity and scalability so risk we is free to use and its specifications are open allowing for broad adoption and customization without licensing fees and modular design risk we has a modular modular isc with a small base set of instructions and multiple standard extensions uh, that add functionality so uh, the main advantage of this risk we isc is so uh, for every design whether it may be rv69 uh, i will say what is this uh, 6932i so rv32a we, we will have uh, like different types of isas 64i and rv 128i so here uh, the 32 or 16 or 64 uh, or 128 will define the size of the data okay size of the instruction okay size of the instruction whether the instruction is 16 bit or 32 bit or 128 bit it will depend upon the isa so uh, the base isa is uh, the instructions are same for all these uh, uh, types of architectures and we can also add some extensions like multiplication division like the extensions we can add to this uh, basic isa i will show what is this extensions all this so for now remember that uh, for every uh, architecture we will have the same uh, base isa we will have the same base instruction set architecture so the instructions for all the type of uh, risk quiz rv69 or whether it may be rv32i or rv69 or rv64i the base isa is common if you want if you want other extra features you, uh, you can add it them as an extensions okay so uh, i will show in the upcoming sessions what are these extensions and uh, how are these extensions added okay now it is simple simplicity the base isa is designed to be simple and efficient facilitating easy or easy of implementation and verification scalability risk we can be scaled to meet the needs of various applications from microcontrollers to high performing computers so the these are the key features of risk we isa specifications instruction set architecture specifications so yeah as discussed we have different type of uh, base isas rv32i 64i and rv 128i so we have three types like this so here 32 the number represents the size of the instruction okay so the base integer instruction set for 32 bit architecture this is 64 bit architecture and this is 128 bit architecture this is very less common we use rv 32i and rv 64i and if uh, if we want to use for a small microcontroller design we can use rv 69 like this we can use okay so these are different types of instruction architectures and these are standard extensions if you want to add this to this instruction architecture you can add this as extensions like integer multiplication m is standard extension and f is single precision floating point like uh, if you want to uh, perform any floating uh, type operations you can add this extension d is double precision floating point and q is quad precision floating point so these are the standard ex extensions which are present in the risc okay. and we have register sets 
So integer registers, 32 general purpose registers, X0 to X31 for RV32I, 64A. Register X0 is hardwired to 0. So in this RISC-V architecture, there are total 32 general purpose registers. So with the help of this general purpose registers, we can store the data or we can uh, do the operations between the two data. So we'll see uh, what are this uh, general purpose registers and how we are going to use them in the architecture. Okay. So the, there are, whether it may be any architecture, it may be 32 bit architecture or 64 bit architecture, uh, no matter the total number of general purpose registers will be 32. Okay. So there will be 32 general purpose registers. And floating point registers, there are also 32 floating point registers. Whether if we add this F and D extensions, we will get access to this floating point registers also. Okay. Now, instruction formats. This is very important. So in risk five, mm -hmm. we will have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six types of instruction formats. So up to this slide, is it clear for everyone? Hello, is my voice audible? Yes, it's audible, but uh, the presentation is not visible. It's just black. No? No, it's visible. So up to where uh, it was uh, visible? Up to here or which line? Yeah, yeah from, from extension service. Yeah, 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 from, from here. here. This slide, okay. So, yeah, I was showing these extensions. So, there are, there are also register sets. We have general purpose registers. So, these are general purpose registers. So, if we are using normal uh, base ISA, whether it may be RV32I or RV64I, we will be having 32 general purpose registers, okay. So, whether it may be RV32I, RV64I or RV16I or RV128I, uh, the total number of general purpose registers will be 32. And coming to floating point registers, we will be having 32 floating point registers if we add these extensions F and D. Okay. So how we are going to use this uh, registers and all, we will see in the uh, explanation part of this. And uh, yeah. So up to this, is it clear? Is this clear? Right? Yes, yes, it's clear. Coming to instruction formats, we have uh, six type of instructions formats. One is R type and another is I type, H type, B type, U type and J type. So R type stands for register, register operations and I type stands for immediate operations and H type stands for store operations and B type stands for branch operations and U type starts for up, uh, upper immediate operations and J for jump operations. So the instructions are divided into this uh, categories, okay, R type, I type, H type and uh, B type, U type and J type. So risk five is divided, risk five instructions are divided into this uh, broad categories. So in our uh, sessions, we are going to discuss one by one. Uh, we will discuss R type instructions, I type instructions, S type instructions, so on, okay. So from next session, we are going to start with risk five ISA, base ISA. So we are going to start with the discussion of uh, different uh, uh, instructions, R type instructions, I type instructions, U type instructions, and what are, how these instructions are framed and how to decode these instructions. So we will okay. So today in this session we have discussed uh, the introduction to ISA. What is meant by ISA? 
and uh, we have uh, briefly discussed about assembly to binary conversion and how we are going to deal with the binary data and we have seen the risk v overview and we have seen the key features is specifications standard extensions okay so yeah so that's all for today's session so if you are having any doubts or queries you can stay and ask or else we can end this session thank you